Borneo, an island in the middle of Indonesia, an area covered in jungle so dense that rivers are often the only way to get around. It had been a week since we'd pulled over into a small town on the southern coast of Borneo, and we'd spotted tons of these small river boats, also locally known as clock talks. Pretty simple contraptions, no gearbox, always in drive, no muffler, just a straight pipe out the side. I'm Ben, that's Ashley. Together, we did the unimaginable. We sold everything and then set off on a mission to sail around the world. Civilization, see you later. Twenty countries later, and over 25,000 nautical miles, we are only halfway around the world. I have no idea what's going to happen. Subscribe to follow the adventure as we finish this lap. Things are crazy, right? Well, you got a moped in there. We'd just gotten back to our mothership, Nahoa, after spending several nights aboard this massive modern clock talk exploring the Borneo jungle in search of orangutans. It was during this time that we'd seen many of these traditional clock talks transporting goods and people up and down the rivers. Having sailed halfway around the world, we have seen our share of local boats, including the overpowered Bankas up in the Philippines and the Sailors in Papua New Guinea. But these were on a whole nother level. Our mission was to get on one of these and our fixer, a reef, was about to hook us up. So off we went, venturing into modern day slum. Before this is like slum area. And then we starting to, to bring the people visit here. The government uh, make some competition to paint so colorful the house with a different color. So now we call it uh, Rainbow Village. <laughs> <laughs> From slum to Rainbow Village. From slum to Rainbow Village. That is Perfect. cool. <laughs> Hello. Beautiful. <laughs> What's this? Meatballs. Hey, meatballs. Yeah. Meatballs. This one with the tofu, this one uh, meatball with the egg, this yeah. one is meatball with the mushroom. <laughs> Try some? No, not tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I have to get a picture with my phone. I love so we've it. met up with our guide Arif again and he's shown us around town. This is used to be a slum here in southern Kalimantan. It's absolutely gorgeous. From slum to tourist attraction. Oh, it's beautiful. Everyone's done a fantastic job. I'm really impressed with it. <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty happy with that picture. <laughs> nice one. All here is the old settlement in the river bands, and they are living generously in a still houses like that because the river is like highway. River yeah. is access. River is connecting people. <laughs> all houses floating. What do you think? What is that? Small houses. Small houses in the river bands. All Outhouse. Hothouse, right? Hot yes. House, is it? <laughs> so they are doing everything in the river. They're doing laundry in the river. They take a bath in the river. They're brushing teeth in the river. River is like important. And also they going to the school through the river, going to the market through the river. So river is like the herd of the daily life of the people around here. Wow. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, very cool. Let's go. Okay. Are you serious? Yeah, this is amazing. Aren't we lucky? I feel like I've won the lottery today. <laughs> Two boats. <laughs> Doing laundry in the river. Yeah. <laughs> this one is a real clotter. It's, it's a real clotter? This one is a real clotter with a sound. <laughs> this one, we will try. <laughs> so we also have, we have the one going on right behind us and also the outhouse is right beside too. So it's oh, quite yeah. a beautiful, really different dynamic of living down here and it's absolutely fantastic. Let's go. Thank you so much.
They have really cool engines. Let's see how he starts it. Over here, there's like these little houses, these little outhouses. They're, uh, well, they're outhouses. They just poo in there. Um, and then you'll, you'll occasionally spot them uh, doing some laundry on the side of the river as well. It's really cool. Fenders. Pretty cool, eh? Old mostly motorcycle tires. This over here is the uh, market. There's a floating market. They sell it like a wet market. It's like fishes and like vegetable, any kind you can have it. There's all these fish farms here. It's kind of cool. It's uh, what are they called? Aquaculture, right? Yeah, aquaculture. Aquaculture. Yeah. And they're just, you said it's three months? Right. 400 grams. And it's a catfish? No. Oh, they have some catfish and also like nila. Nila. Oh, I like yeah, the nila. Nila. oh we ate nila on the yeah. boat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're really good. It's like a white meaty fish. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. I like the These little engines seem like they could really pack much.
Okay. <laughs> thank you for today. <laughs> thank you. So thank you for you. Thank you so much. How do we stop? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Man, that was one of the best things I've ever done. <laughs> that was like better than any like amusement park. Better than Disneyland. Are you happy, Ash? Yeah. <laughs> How happy are you? I loved boat rides. That was so much fun. It's just so cool to see, I don't know everything, but just to see a different a different life here. Like uh, the river life. Like, come on, when do you get to see that? It's not every day you pull into a place and get to go up a river on a little, on a little clock talk, not a big clock talk. And see the sort of how, you know, new traditional way of life. Yeah, pooping, bathing, <laughs> fishing, <laughs> building. River is really important here because you, you transport up the river, you... Whoa. Oh, lights. Oh, lights came on. Hello, lights. <laughs> Anyways, we hope you enjoyed that one and uh, we'll see you next week. Just so cool. So cool. Come here, so cool. talk to Reef, get him to take you on a ride. <laughs> come, to, come to Kumai.